And Chicago firefighters are still fighting a massive fire in Albany Park at this hour. Let's go to WGN's Mike Lowe. He is live at the scene near Sacramento and Lawrence. Mike. Ben and Lourdes, good afternoon to both of you. We're about a half a block east of Sacramento and Lawrence, where you can see behind me traffic is still blocked as firefighters continue to douse this building with water as flames continue to burn under the rubble of a collapsed roof. Black smoke. It, it looked like a war zone, as if a bomb had just hit. I mean, billowing black smoke. A huge fire erupted inside of an Albany Park general store, sending thick black smoke over the northwest side and spitting flames through the storefront windows. At one point, the fire leapt out of the windows, broke the windows, um, started putting things on the street on fire. It was just, it was just horrible. Chicago Fire Department officials say the first call came at noon. The owner was inside, but they got out right away. So. There were no injuries, but the JoJo Discount Outlet Home Store was a total loss. Oh my God. Oh my God. Just horrible. It's horrible. The wholesale and retail shop was filled with highly flammable items, everything from mattresses to rugs to home goods and clothing. I know that this is like a used furniture store. There's rugs in there and all sorts of odds and ends. I don't know what's burning so much, but it's pretty scary. Longtime neighbor John Leo was one of dozens of Albany Park residents who gathered across the street to witness the destruction. I don't know. The black smoke just keeps coming. It's really sort of scary. It took nearly two hours to bring the flames under control. The effort was complicated by the construction. The truss roof is the most dangerous fire that we could have. District Chief Thomas Carbono said the open bowstring roof allowed for fire and smoke to spread and eventually led to the roof's collapse. When the boats burn through, that gives one wall is going to kick out. And when wall, one wall kicks out, the roof comes down. It forced the 125 firefighters to battle the flames from above rather than from the inside, elongating the effort. The roof is totally in. We still have fire underneath all the roof that we got to let it burn through. And there is one bit of good news in all of this. No one was injured. The cause of this fire remains under investigation this afternoon, but fire authorities were quick to point out that there is no connection between this fire and the three others that have happened in this neighborhood within the last month, saying this spate of fires in a single neighborhood is purely, quote, coincidence. Reporting live this afternoon in Albany Park, Mike Lowe, WGN News. Interesting. Okay, thank you so much, Mike.